Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Amy and today I'm going to make an updated version of underrated designer bags. I know that you know na, you know, hoarding is life, but I'm trying to declutter kasi na huli ako. <laughs> I was ng karta na kita. Yung mga hindi pa nakita. So, let's start with this one. This is the Fore de Poche. Ganun siya i-pronounce. <laughs> Ayan, this is, this is not your usual kasi na FLP. I just call it FLP kasi ang hirap sabihin. So, I love sling, so naka-plastic pa siya. Ito pa siya ginagamit. Ulit. This is not like the usual that's, you know, Daily Battle and yung Calibre 21. Um, I cannot remember what exactly this model is, but this one is quite, you know, from before. Tapos ngayon, marami silang mga bagong nilabas. I just like it because it's green. I love color green. Malamig kasi sa mata. So, ayan. Ito yung tassel nila. They sell it separately. You can wear it in a lot of ways. You can wear it as, you know, like that handbag, as a crossbody bag, or a shoulder bag. So, ayan. From there, let's go to Valentino. Um, I'm not quite sure if I was able to show you this already, but this is the Valentino One Stud Bag. I love this. I wore this in Paris once lang. I love the minimalist take of it. There's only kaya one stud kasi there's only one rock stud that being featured unlike yung mga iba. Meron ako nung um, rock stud spike. That's just a gift sa akin. Pwede siyang shoulder bag and then pwede rin siyang sling bag. You can, you can adjust it. Here, meron siyang ano. Hindi to siya and then the adjustment is just inside. So, isang malaking compartment lang siya and then a small. You know. Ah, there's another one. There's a secret pocket here and there's, there's a secret compartment here and there's a pocket here. Surprising, hindi ako mahilig sa mga earth tones. Pero yun nga, feeling ko tumatanda na ako. At saka feeling ko rin, masyadong loud yung mga huli ng mga bags ko. Or masyado ng bright yung mga huli ng bags ko. Ayun. Super simple and it's chic. I like it. I just can't, you know, bring myself to get a white one because I know that hindi ko siya kayang alagaan. So, hindi ko na pinilit yung sarili ko na bumili nun. Okay. I know that I have featured quite a lot of Luebe bags. So, ayun, it's Luebe kasi tawag ko iba, Luebe sa Spain daw. And this one, I got it because it's so cute, the color. This is a yellow, the Bavaria Sunshine. <laughs> so cute. This is a mini hammock. Favorite ko among sa lahat ng mga Luebe, ba Luebe bag. <laughs> Favorite ko among the Luebe ba <laughs> Sorry. Favorite ko among Luebe is this one, yung hammock. So, if you're uh, trying to get your bags that are not so expensive, but, you know, are also fashionable, and not a lot of people are carrying it. From there, let's go to Celine. You know, Celine is very expensive, pero, you know, hindi siya ganun kapansinan ng mga tao. Well, of course, with the exception of nano luggage. This one, though, is a Celine box. So, I have this also in plain leather. But this one is a red python skin. Not a lot of people get to appreciate kasi the design because it's too simple. Parang box lang talaga siya. But it's so cute for me. I mean, it, it looks classy for me. I've used this a couple of times. It has um, signs of wear already. Um, signs of wear kasi ng python or ng snake skin is like that. So, medyo nag umaangat yung kanyang skills. But you know, for an old bag, this is relatively good pa rin. Naalagaan ko siya. Let's go to Moina. I'm not really a fan of Moina because, I don't know, for some reason. Itong region kasi, sa Emily in Paris 2, meron siyang um, scene doon, di ba? Nakagamihan siya. I was trying to get that exact bag for Ollie, but ubus na. Or wala yata yung buckle na gusto ko or yung hardware na gusto ko. So I got her a peach colored one and then I told myself, sige na, kuhaan rin ako ng taupe. Kasi hindi naman ako masyado yung maraming taupe na bags. I think this is a BB size. Actually, gusto ko siya. Madali siyang gamitin. It doesn't, you know, madali siyang gamitin pero may mga silpa. <laughs> anyway, ayun, madali siyang gamitin pero it's another no-hassle bag na parang hindi mo imamind kung ano yung ginagawa mo. Just sling it there and then you can do whatever you wanna do. Ganyan. Kasi yung, yung level niya is totally yun na ganyan. So, ayun. Buffalo yata yung ganito eh. If I'm not mistaken. So, there, if, if, if I'm wrong, then you might correct me sa comments na lang. Okay, from Moina, dun tayo sa medyo kapatid niya. 
This one is a Delvo. This is a limited edition na uh, Delvo Tempe. This is the oldest na luxury bag from Belgium. Yeah. So yung Tempe kasi it's a handbag and then ito. Meron siyang ganyan-ganyan. So medyo mahirap siyang buksan if you look at it. Pero sa totoo lang may ganyan siya sa loob. So ito, wala lang. Cute lang siya. Kaya ako binili. Limited kasi. Pero hindi ko ito masyadong ginagamit kasi uh, PVC siya. But it has mga studs here and a lot of details. So I like yung mga ganun. And then it comes with a strap. And the strap is parang uh, makapal. So madali siyang gamitin. Maganda ito pang ano. Kunyari yung beach kayo. Ganyan. Wow, pang beach niya dobo. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> There's another dobo kasi. And this one is really, really my favorite. Um, I bought the Brilliant, but it's not here yet. Or I don't know where it is. Okay, this is another Tempeat, but this is the classic. This is um, really colored beige. Uh, and then the lining inside is um, soft beige naman. So, ganun din. Isang malaking pocket, isang zipper sa loob. And nothing more. So, it's a no, you know, parang no-nonsense na... Na kind of bag, parang gano. So, <laughs> ayun din, meron pa siya mga ano, may mga cover pa, may mga seals pa yung mga ano niya, yung mga hardware niya. Actually, you know, even if I have a lot of things and I have a lot of gamit, this is a secret. I'm a creature of habit. So, parang kung anong gusto ko, yun na yun. Kung anong gamit ko, yun na yun. Kasi ayoko ng palit-palit kasi ang magulo. Pero, gusto ko, nagpapalit naman ako pagka may mga occasion, ganyan. Pero, hindi madalas na parang tuwing labas ko, iba yung bag ko. Parang, at this point, ito yung favorite ko. And then, yun yung ginagamit ko for the whole week, ganun. Or for whole month, minsan. Okay, let's go now to this one. Ang dami kasi yung nag-request nito. Yan, yeah, Bulgari! Oo nga pala, yung mga price point ng Moyna at saka ng Delvo, medyo um, mataas. Parang, Moyna kasi mga entry-level Chanel na eh. Tapos, um, ang Delvo, parang close to a medium flap, I think. Nasa 500, 400, 500 siya. This one naman is a Serpenti. Serpenti, ayan yung kanilang signature na bag. So, may mga puffers yung mga bags ko. Minsan, pag tinatamad. Pag hindi, hindi tinatamad. So, ayan. Isang malaking compartment lang din siya. A shoulder bag that you can also wear as a sling. This one is um, water snake. Mapapansin niyo kapag ka nag-exotic ako. It's usually python or ostrich or lizard. Yun yung mga gusto ko. Ewan ko kasi kakaiba yung texture nila. Croc meron din ako pero hindi ako heavy sa croc. This is a trivia. The value especially of mga burkins. Mataas ang value ng, ng lizard. Siguro kasi mas mahirap siyang gawin. Ito, ito lang yung pinaka signature na look niya is yung parang, parang yung ulo ng ahas. Ayan. I think I bought this free on. So, ayan. This is another Bulgari bag. This one is quite new. I haven't used this. The shape of, ay, the size of this one, ito, meron akong purple na ganito. Pinigay ko sa tita ko kasi parang naiiksian ako sa kanya. Pag gano'n ko ganyan, parang, ano, kilikili bag. Tapos, pag hinabaan mo naman, hindi mo naman siya makrossbody. So, parang nainis ako, wala lang. Pinigay ko sa kanya. So, I got this one because it's like emerald green. Ang sarap niya sa mata. This one has a lot of compartments naman as compared to the first one. So, ayan. May salamin niya dito eh. Salamin ba ito? Ayan. May kasama pa siyang salamin. This bags, the serpentine bags, are cute. And they look classy. Very chic and posh when you are going out. But if you are considering this for your first bag, siguro go for this size or go for the mini one. Yung sumunod na maliit dito, hindi ako bumili nun eh, sayang nga. Pero let's see in the future. Kasi yon yung sling talaga yon So, pwede mo siyang gumitin for a body bag. Because, you know, my preference for bags are always mga multi-way. This is intended for shoulder use lang talaga. So, if you're gonna use it, it has to be like a shoulder bag. So, ganyan. Yun lang yung downside nito. Kasi, yung hindi mo nga siya mababaan. Ganun. Kaya, medyo limited yung sizing. Diba? <laughs> Parang naka-funny pa. Ayoko, hindi siya bagay. Anyway. <laughs> Ayun. This one and this one. This one naman is talaga yung intended for sling use. So, ganito yung dalawang versions niya. And then, I didn't buy the smaller one. The smaller one is the sling, but the, the sling bag is uh, leather. People are asking me kung anong review ko for this. That nga, it's a good bag, but, you know, the downside is that, you know, you cannot use it as much as you want because you have to mind your things when you're using something like this kasi ang tendency is gagasgas siya sa damit mo. 
or kailangan ingatan mo siya. I use bags as bags. I don't use bags as accessories or just a display. So, medyo ano, hassle sa kanya. Yun lang yung downside niya. But, all in all, the look and the value for money. But, the value for money is medyo mahal for a Bulgari because Bulgari is known for jewelry and watches. So, usually kasi, kung saan sila nagiging, kung ano yung forte nila, doon, yung, doon sila lang nagpo-focus. So, parang ako, my, my mentality when it comes to buying, kung ano yung expertise nila, that's what I buy. So, I stick with the jewelry line, jewelry lang, tapos, sometimes with the exception of mga bags, if they have mga magagandang klase, but usually ganun. Pag jewelry, jewelry. Pag clothes and, you know, RTW and everything, doon ka mag-focus. Okay, I think that's about it with my updated, underrated designer bags. Kung may mga nakalimutan ako, siguro sa susunod na mga episodes. That's about it. I'm going to see you again next time. This has been Amy. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, or comment down below what you'd like us to feature sa mga susunod na episodes. And of course, the no notification bell button so that you'll get to be notified with everything that we do on our channel. Bye!